fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 15th of November 2024. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life as best you can. It's going to be a nice day here in Bangkok. I say that, it was just very overcast today. But I think the sun is almost about to get his hat on uh, now. I went out for breakfast this morning uh, to buy breakfast to take home, which I normally do. And I was accosted by a former neighbour. Uh, I should uh, explain a little bit. I've been in my current house for almost eight years now, but before that I lived actually further down the street, further towards the road, halfway down the street, uh, in a different house uh, for 16 years. A long time, huh? Uh, and um, as, as I say, I moved here about eight years ago. And uh, sometimes I see my former neighbours from, from that street, but I have to drive past the old house to get to the main road uh, anyway so I was accosted by a former neighbor this morning who had some rather distressing news uh, she said um, did I know that about four or five days ago as I was driving past her house a cat jumped out from under my car and at first I thought she was saying a cat ran under my car but she wasn't she was saying a cat jumped out from under my car it seemed she said she thought it had been hiding in my car uh, when it was parked, maybe, you know, possibly under the wheel arch or under the, I don't know, uh, I'm not sure where, the engine compartment or where, I have no idea where cats can hide. Actually, cats are amazing. They get into some very small places sometimes and had run out. And um, I, I was I didn't really want to ask what happened, but she said she'd managed to uh, uh, treat it a bit or something. And I think, she, I'm sure she was just treating it for shock. And then I think it had, uh, it had left, it had gone so gone back home wherever it was or, or whatever but um, I found that quite a hor horrifying story because I have when I lived in that house before I lost two cats when they had run in the road and been uh, run under speeding cars and I never speed when I'm going along that road I drive very slowly along there maybe that's why the cat was under there and jumped out at that point uh, there's a speed bump at that point as well. So maybe it just kind of found a convenient place to jump out and it had been hiding under the car. But um, I lost two cats uh, in a very upsetting manner. Um, there used to be a vet at the end of the road as well. It's gone now, but it used to be one like 50 meters from there. And I actually, it happened to me twice. The same event happened twice that I ran with the cat to the vets and... Uh, they gave it uh, an injection of, um, uh, uh, what's it called? I've forgotten, but anyway, gave it an injection to try to revive it. Uh, it and it just died of shock. And, it, and that happened to two of my cats. Um, so, you know, I'm always kind of like really careful about how I drive down there. And I'm really surprised because when I get into my car, I always do it very slowly. I, I like slam the door loudly and I start the engine and I don't move because I know there is a possibility of cats. And definitely I've seen a cat recently uh, under my car who was pretty slow to get out. But it, as, as I've thought, it always gets out, you know, just before I drive off. Um, and as a cat lover, a person who's had a dozen cats in my life, uh, I found it really distressing. Uh, my other, my my cat is currently in the hospital for his treatment today, his weekly treatment. So I'll go and pick him up later. But anyway, that I found uh, uh, a yucky story. So <laughs> but anyway, let's hope um, the cat was OK. I don't know if it survived or not, but I'd hate to be responsible for uh, the death of a cat. It's not very good. Um, is that it? Uh, yeah, that seemed long enough. <laughs> we better get on with the game of Sudoku, I suppose. Oh, yeah, it's like a tongue day today. That's a, a day when we float our gatongs along the river. And uh, I just also found out that I'm not working this evening, so I'll be able to play uh, at least one more game of Sudoku. I haven't been to Loigatong since before COVID because they're always very well attended. I, <laughs> I um, was thinking the other day because I was thinking about... Um, I was telling someone about uh, the 5th of November in the UK, which is Guy Fawkes Day. And when I was a kid, if you ever wondered whether public safety announcements ever worked, I can tell you that it definitely worked on me. When I was growing up in, in England, uh, we used to have these adverts every year about the firework code 
put your fireworks in a tin box and secure it <laughs> and you know light a firework at arm's length and stand back and if it doesn't go off never go back and all of that stuff the firework I, I, I that's really drummed into me I could probably recite it now <laughs> uh, it, it really was uh, and I always followed it uh, uh, it seemed to me logical and sensible to to if you're going to have fireworks to do that and when I first came to Thailand uh, and went to the first couple of uh, Loiga Tong events uh, it comes in November every year and <laughs> I couldn't believe it there were kids holding rockets I mean literally the rockets that fire up into the sky they were holding them and pointing them at other kids and you know I, I, sparklers were the only things you were allowed to hold when I was a kid but these kids were holding really dangerous fireworks and pointing them around I just couldn't believe it I thought oh my god have you never heard of the firework code um I'm doubtless to say there have been many, many accidents in Thailand as there have been in other places where they have fireworks. I don't know if that still exists. Like I say, I haven't been to a, a Loi Gatong event for years and years, and I think they've become less popular. Fireworks themselves have become less popular, I think, around the world as kind of individual things. They've, the the, the um, organized displays, of course, are quite grand. So uh, there's always that to look forward to, I think. Fireworks can look beautiful, but... Um, they don't do wonders for the planet and they can be very dangerous so but we mustn't you know we must not uh, miss all the fun in life we can't cancel the entire world we still have to have some fun right let's start our Los uh, New York Times Sudoku puzzle hard level puzzle uh, with seven blocking this these two squares and seven blocking this square giving me a seven in that square We've got three blocking up here, up here, and across there. It's going to put a three into that square. Three across here and across here will give me three down there. Oh, the construction noise begins. Perfect timing. They must have known I've started my Sudoku video. Seven and six block across here. That's going to give me a pair of seven and six in those squares. Any help on those? No. Nope. So this has to be one and five. Any help there? Yes, definitely. There's a five blocking up there. So the five goes there and the one is in that square. Now we're going to have one up there. We've got one and two. Actually, look at that. One and two blocking up there. One and two across there. So we get a pair of one and two in those squares. These cannot be one or two. They must be four, which is there or there. Uh, four, eight, nine. So four, okay, and over here, four and two. All right, still early days yet. No patterns are calling out to me, so let's just go through bit by bit and see what we can get. We've got one blocking across here, and one blocking across here, and one down there.
I've spotted a pair, uh, a triple, I mean. That's unusual. 135, 135. Don't normally spot those. I'm normally pretty slow at spotting them. I've got 135 blocking down here. I've got 1, 3, and 5 in those squares. Now, is it going to mean anything else? Well, it means 9s have to be in these squares, and we've got 9 blocking across there. So that's going to be a 9. This is 1, 3, and 5. Missing numbers up here which are not 1, 3, or 5, are 6 and 7. Oh, we've got 6, 7 there, yeah. Uh, no help on this 6 or 7 here yet. Okay, 1, 3, 5, what else? Go back to going through bit by bit. Gotcha, gotcha, I see it, I see it. What do I see? This row here, we've got eight blocking here, we've got eight blocking here, we've got eight blocking here, but we'll extend that up to the top and realize that eight has to be in one of these two squares here, blocking back down, so that can't be eight. That must be an eight there. Now eight going up here and up there will give us eight in that square. Eight across here and eight across here will give us eight there. We know this is one and two. We know this is four and nine. Uh, right, just sort out the others here. This was two and four, and this is nine and five, I think. Still, there's not really anything down here to indicate which is which. Uh, five. This is one, two, and this was six, seven, wasn't it? Yeah, that seems to be right. Okay, but what about this column? I have a feeling this, yes, nine blocking that square there will give us nine there. And this is a five. I was looking at that column for a, quite a while. That kind of numbers were stuck in my head. So, okay, there we go. I just heard my neighbor telling another neighbor uh, it's going to rain this evening, so Ligotong is not going to be fun. <laughs>
I have a feeling it's, I've got to be looking over on this side, I suspect. Hmm. Help. Oh, I hear the sounds of distant thunder. Um, it's only morning still here, but um, possibly true that it won't be so good if it's raining. Nobody wants to go outside. So, but anyway, COVID is still with us. Remember, so uh, things haven't com aren't completely safe to be in large gatherings. I think when I'm talking about thousands and thousands of people, of course, if you get on the crowded commuter train like I've been doing you're probably more likely in danger anyway because people are so squashed together on the trains Hmm. I can't do anything about the top shoot, the top horizontal shoot. Nothing there. The secret has got to be in the lower two thirds for sure. There's nothing I can do up here. Absolutely nothing, as far as I can see. So I've got to. I mean, I have been examining already, but not coming up with anything. Well, obviously I don't want the game to go on for too long, so I am going to probably have to... Ah, oh no. 
Oh, thought I'd seen something. But no, not the case. I don't want this game to go on for too long, so I'm going to um, play the rest of the game with pencil marks because I need to finish it off. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So missing digits up here are 2 and 4. Missing digits up here are 5 and 9. Uh, missing digits here and here are 6 and 9, I think. Oh, no, sorry, not 6. Tell a lie. Uh, th uh, 4 and 9, sorry. Uh, this is um, one and what? One and six? No, one and two. Of course, <sighs> that was one of the first things I worked out. I've forgotten it all. Um, this is six and seven. Right. So, what do we know about ones? They appear down here for sure, and down here for sure. And what else do we know about the twos? As pairs, not sure. Threes are up here. And threes are here. Oh, yeah, sorry. This is one, three, and something else I saw. One, three, five, isn't it? Let's put the fives in there before I forget. So it's one, three, five. I know this is going to be six, seven, six, seven. Maybe I should look along here in case there's anything else. So six seven six seven two four no didn't get anything All right so uh threes I was looking at fours are a pair down here fives are over there somewhere Pair down here. Sixes. Hmm. Sevens there. Sevens here. of eights there there and this is a pair of nines there I, I've got something oh yeah four blocking across there I knew there was something I'm missing there oops sorry four okay uh, come back to these nines nines are there <clears throat> All right, have I finished with the pair stuff? Probably finished. I uh, think so. We've got is that seven nine three, seven nine three, seven nine three across here, seven nine three there. So now I spot it. Okay, now I spot the triple. So this is seven nine and three. So let's put our nine and three in those places, and let's get rid of those ones, and let's put our one there. Uh, it just becomes easier when you see the actual. I don't know. It's just uh, sometimes it's just easier to spot once that once I've started putting in the pencil marks. But that was a triple that I spotted without the pencil marks. Actually, <laughs> anyway, never mind. Um, so how does that take us forward? Should probably re-examine this bottom row again now. Then so we're missing um, two, four, five, six.
six blocking down here puts six into those squares there which gives us six somewhere over there uh, two four five not sure <coughs> Okay, so I don't think I can do anything else with it. Um, so I want to look at this. I'm going to go to this bottom shoot here, especially this block and this block here. So remember, this is one, three. Oh, yes, so this has to be a five now because now we've got one and three there. There is something I can do. I've got to put the five there, so I get rid of the fives there. So now five blocks across here, that means fives can only fit into those squares. So that can't be a five, can it? Okay, that's more like it. There was something. There was something. Uh, but this is not a pair of five or six because six is in three possible locations. So we're missing two, four, six along the bottom. Hmm. Okay, so let's get on with what I was going to do. Now we've got. Uh, Obviously the one and three are a pair here. Two blocks across here, so two fits along like this. Two blocks across here. Now remember with three, seven, nine here. So two can go in those squares there. Uh, what do we know about threes? They're done. What do you know about the four? Four blocks across here. And so four can fit into those squares there. Five is done. Six, give me a six. Give me a six. Six can go in those squares there. And over here, no limitation on six, I think. Uh, okay, the other uh, seven, eight, nine, done. So one is still not done because one can go in those squares there. All right, let's go up any particular side. Doesn't really matter, I think. It's whatever whatever block I do, it's going to be the last block that I examine, right? So that's Sod's law. Two blocking down here will give me two in those squares there. Six. Oh. Six is going to be in those squares there. Eight blocking like this, we get eights over here. And nine is done. Six, seven, six, seven, yeah. Okay, two blocks to finish. Uh, no idea on twos here, so I'll put them anywhere. Six is the other missing number. No info on six. One more block to go over here. Oh, I should quickly have a look down here first. Uh, nothing super obvious. So, like I said, the last block that I examine, of course, it's going to be there. What do we know about the twos? Can we can we say anything for definite? I don't think so. Do we have any? No, not sure. 
uh, four blocks across here like this. Seven blocks across here and down here. And we are all done. So it's time to look carefully. Try to find those patterns. There we go. Look, there's a two, four pair here and here. So this can't be two, four. It has to be seven. And that's going to give us the game. Seven's got to be here. Seven's got to be here. Seven's there. That's a six. That's a six. Uh, shall I do some removals? Let's get some housekeeping done here. So I've got this 2-4 here. I've got to get rid of the 2 there for starters. And I've got to get rid of this 2 here and those 2's over there. And I've got to place a 2 there. And get rid of those 2's and I'll just keep going along like this. Rain has started now. so But it's still um, early here in Thailand so it might not affect this evening's celebrations for those people if you are listening in Thailand and wanting to experience Liga Tong, maybe you've never been there, seen it before. Well, it might have stopped raining by that time with a bit of luck. All right, four and seven are out of the way. Let's see what else we need. Ones, can we get anything on the ones? Not sure. What about the twos? Seems likely. This is the only two in this row. It's the, in fact, it's the last long number in the uh, row as well. Uh, we've got seven here, so this has got to be a six, hasn't it? So we come back for our two there, our six there, our eight over here, our two in this square. Two up there, one in that square there, get rid of, oh, ooh, sorry, get rid of those ones there, hit the one there, get the one there, get the three in that square, three up here, three there, five in that square, five here, five there, nine in that square. Still need a 9 down here. There's our 9. This is a 6. 6 up here, 5 there. So once you spotted that pair of 2 and 4, the game is up. And that's our uh, Ligatong celebration, or not, <laughs> uh, game of Sudoku for Friday the 15th of November 2024. Uh, I'll see you around for more Sudoku um, today, I suspect. Bye-bye.